It's the old saying, does the power corrupt or are they corrupt to begin with and they're attracted to the power? They're corrupt to begin with and attracted to power. That's what I think too. One thing you were saying, and we'll bring it up later, but when we were talking about RFK, you were like, he seems like he doesn't really want to be president of service. And I was mm -hmm. thinking the same thing. Like, I don't trust people that want to be president, that yeah. want that power. It's just like those cult leaders. Yeah, I think it's... You know, the people who want the power, the, the Hillary Clintons. Yeah. Shout out to the picture of you and Hillary I know, behind that me. was a fun party that night. <laughs> I left early because I didn't want to see what happens after uh, everyone's good drunk. Good call. Yeah. Jeez. But seeing those, the Hillary Clinton-esque people who want to be in power, it's like Lord of the Rings where you've got Gollum and all these creepy people. They can't handle the power of the ring. It just corrupts yeah, them. Uh -huh. They care about nothing else other than the power in this ring. And the ring metaphorically in today's world, it's control, it's fame, it's being known, money to an extent. It's the control of other people, ain't I, it? I think that's the primary thing. Some people say, oh, you know, the whole pandemic and everything else they do, it's just a money grab. I don't think so. I, I think money is somewhere on their agenda, but money just gives you more ability to control. And I do think control is ultimately what they're after. I think the God's way is freedom. That's why he gives us free will. So we have free will. We're not controlled, nor are we controlling anyone. And I, my definition of evil is anyone who tries to control anyone else in a way that's not in their best interest while god frees i think evil the devil it constricts it mm -hmm. controls and mm -hmm. we're seeing what i would call the alleged work of the devil just control all mm -hmm. over the place mind control. or at least attempted to control mind control you control sure. your mind you control your soul yeah especially if you get the mind to constipate its psychological yeah, sphincter. The word, yeah. So like the, the light of the soul, it can't penetrate into someone's conscious awareness. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. And they turned everything upside down so that in the upside down world, clown world, it actually makes sense on backward day, which is every day. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. It's so absurd. Yeah. It's hard to, uh, like I said, our job is to mock, 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 yeah. mock. But it's hard to mock the absurd. It is. One of the comedic principles, not that I need to tell you, a comedic principle of exaggeration. But when you look <laughs> at the world where these tyrants, then the narrative and everybody doing the bidding, what they're doing, it's already so exaggerated, so absurd that it's hard to make it more absurd while right. having it look realistic because what's going on in reality, it doesn't even look realistic. Uh -uh. Men can get pregnant. Look at that man winning in the swim meet. Look at that man who just won the powerlifting championship <laughs> in the women's division. It's so absurd already. But wasn't how far ahead of his time was Andy Kaufman with that wrestling woman thing? <laughs> he was so, uh, he was prescient. He was, yeah. There's been a lot of stuff, and um, I, I'm forgetting the example. I was just going to think of, let's just pretend it was going to be smart. <laughs> but then also, like, a, a little example, the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, Junior, where yeah. it's like, hey, here, it came out in 94. Here's this absurd idea. <laughs> a man is pregnant, and it's so absurd. Oh, yeah. They just made a movie out of it. Like, not a good script, not really a amazing art form but just the absurd idea and now we have pregnant men on the covers of magazines you get canceled if you claim that men can't get pregnant <laughs> just i'll tell you what that birth has gotta hurt coming out through the penis like that <laughs> yeah. i mean i know your vagina gets stretched out i've had five children but i don't know about that penis i mean i don't know how they'll they're going to have to get some kind of plug after to keep their yeah. urine from... Well, I I identify as a doctor, so let me tell you the <laughs> medical reality of this right now. Uh -huh. uh, these men who are pregnant, I don't think they have penises. Really? Yeah. Oh. Special breed of man. 
I looked up on Wikipedia the other day. I was researching some kind of video, and I know Wikipedia is stupid and corrupt and you know propaganda. I take it as the, the truth. As you should. I'm yeah. doing my best to uh, learn my way and acquiesce my way into bowing down what Wikipedia and the <laughs> um, evil people are that run it. But I looked up like, wow, there's a lot of human men getting pregnant. Does this happen elsewhere? Apparently there's one species of fish. Starfish. The, is it starfish? Mm -hmm. Where the males can get pregnant. Yeah, they carry this the uh, embryo, and then they, you know, give birth to the eggs, the fertilized eggs. Do you have a degree in starfishology? I Roseanne? do. I've studied oh, it. Did. I did a lot of study on uh, trans issues because my friend wrote a book, and she was she wrote a book called transsexual empire in the 60s and she was heretofore immediately deplatformed uh denied tenure uh they tried to make her homeless and kill her which in fact they did in the long run in so many words a harvard professor and they did that to every woman professor who didn't bow down wait did she write the book in the 60s or was it written more recently just about the 60s no she wrote transsexual empire in 68 okay about the engine you know it was basically about cloning and bioengineering of the human being wow she yeah. was ahead of her time well she was a professor with seven uh phds in Not philosophy, impressive, by the way. Well, philosophy. this was back in the 60s when it was impressive. When like, women, these are real doctorates. When women took that instead of gender studies in, in <laughs> college, you know, where they actually became linguists and historians. And yeah. Shit, you know? Well, I don't think that's a credible source. <laughs> no, only, it probably Only isn't. seven PhDs? Uh -huh. <laughs> but it's, an, it's a fascinating book. I have it here. On, uh, if you'd like, I'd... Love to buy you a copy and send it to you. Oh, yeah. It's I'd love so to prescient. That. And it's all to uh, pursue a political agenda, which is basically the same old, same old to defend, you know, uh, the um, disintegration of women's rights. Yeah. And man, are they doing that? They're Where, trying. Like, uh, uh, next, we're, gonna, we're probably going to see women banned from women's sports. Because yeah, that's. That, that would be smart, though. Yeah. Wouldn't it? it? You know what I was... They'd be record-setting. <laughs> I might actually watch one of those. I know. <laughs> like, And I agree with that agenda. Let's ban women from women's sports, because no offense, they kind of suck. They're yeah, horrible. they do kind of suck. They're not as good as men. They're the One of the most beautifully Hippocratic 1984 in reality things I've ever seen. Uh, I was doing a reaction video to uh, a pregnant man like a uh, uh, person of female origin on TikTok, you know, lives as a man and, you know, big belly, very pregnant. And he was saying, yeah, women, you don't own the term mother anymore. Right, I saw that. Which was Christ. so beautiful mm -hmm. because here is a man telling women, you, you, you don't, like if you believe. Cis women. It's this woman, yeah. So if you believe this person's a man, as you are dutifully supposed to, mm -hmm. then what you're getting is a man telling women, you don't own the term mother anymore, you don't own pregnancy. That is a man literally just taking motherhood mm -hmm. from women. The obliteration of women's rights. Yeah, and being. And be that's all like the whole, say it, excuse me, but the whole... Uh, Luciferian plot is to get the kids. Yes. Because, you sure know, they got to have like their it. snacks. So they got to get rid of the dad and the mom, mm -hmm. male and female, the and protectors, that, right? Let's dads get in. are the protectors for sure. Because pedocrats, as I call them, <laughs> they don't care what sex or gender a child is because, you know, the part of the child they like, all kids have. Mm. Is that the blood? No, no the butt. Oh, the butt yeah. hole. The butt in the mouth, that's why they call it the bonus hole. The vagina is called the bonus hole. Uh -huh. According to all the insurance companies now, they call the vagina the bonus hole, which pretty much right there proves they are pedocrats because uh -huh. it's the butt and the mouth. Those are the primary holes, and that's what all pedos do because they can't have sex with the little girl. She doesn't really have like but half an inch of a vagina, yeah. so they have to go in through the butt, which is Satan's 
preferred way, and that's called opening the third eye in satanic ritual abuse. 